Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Taylor series. In today's session, we are going to solve some simple problems on Taylor series. Before solving the problem, we will split the solution into steps. So, step 1, let us take the given data. So, the problem is given in terms of f of x, comma y, two variables. So, fill the data, what is your given function? And they will give a point like this. Suppose for example, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 5 by 4, etc. And this is mapped to A, B. So, write your A and B and also the point. Now, uh, for the Taylor series formula, we are going to use x minus A, y minus B. So, now I know my A, B. For example, if I take it as 1, 1, in the next column, I will write x minus A is x minus 1, y minus B is y minus 1, etc. So, we have to fill the given data in step 1. Once you fill the data, to find the Taylor series up to second degree, we need f, fx, fy, the first partial derivative with respect to x, that is dou f by dou x, dou f by dou y, and then we need f double x, that is going to be dou square f by dou x square, then f double y, dou square f by dou y square. Next, we have to find fxy, either you can find fxy or fyx. Since we know that dou square f by dou x dou y is equal to dou square f by dou y dou x. So, our step 2, so in our step 2, we are going to make a table which consists of all the data like fx, fy, f double x, double y, fxy and then corresponding values at the point a comma b. That is going to be my step 2. So, I can fill f, fx, fy, f double x, f double y and f x y. So, write your corresponding point and you can write the expression. You can do the differentiation here and substitute the points and write the values here. This is going to be my step 2. Step 3 is my formula, Taylor series formula. So, since our data consists of second degree, I am going to write the formula up to second degree. So, f of x comma y is equal to f of a comma b. Now, just remember a plus b whole square formula, a square plus 2ab plus b square. If it is a plus b whole power 1, simply a plus b. So, first write the function, then 1 by 1 factorial. Here, we have x minus a and y minus b. So, now this s minus a is connected with fx. y minus b is connected with fy. So, 1 by 1 factorial, then I will take this. We have a plus b. So, the formula is simply to remember x minus a, then f x of a comma b plus y minus b f y of a comma b. Done. Next, for the second degree, I am going to write 1 by 2 factorial. Keeping this formula in our mind, the first term in a plus b whole square is a square. So, x minus a whole square. So, x is repeated twice. So, I am going to write f double x of a comma b. Then 2 times a into b. So, x minus a, y minus b. So, f x y. Then b square. y minus b all square f double y of a comma b. Then it continues up to infinity. Remember students, this is not a finite series. It is an infinite series. So, you have to put plus dot dot dot. So, this is the formula for Taylor series. So, our step 3 is write the formula for Taylor series and finally step 4 is simplification. Now, you know the values of fx, fy, f double x, f double y, fx y, etc. Substitute the values from the table and simplify and write the final answer. The problem gets over. Let us go into a simple problem. So, before going to the problem, we have to remember the basic ideas, partial differentiation. So, e power ax differentiation dy by dx or we notate e power ax dash, it's a normal differentiation. It's going to be a into e power ax. Now, suppose I am taking e power x y. I am differentiating partially with respect to x. When I differentiate partially with respect to x, my y is constant. So, I will be writing y into e power x y. The same thing, if I differentiate with respect to y partially, e power x y, I will be getting x into e power x y. Okay, this is some idea. Similarly, if you have like e power x sin y, if I want to differentiate partially with respect to x, then sin y is going to be constant. e power x differentiation is e power x. Suppose I want to differentiate this e power x sin y partially with respect to y. So, e power x is constant. Then 
sin y differentiation is cos y let us go into a problem given function f of x comma y is e power x y expand e power x y in powers of x and y up to second degree using taylor series so now it is very important if the point is given we have to take the point if suppose the point is not given then remember always the point is 0 comma 0 and also it is easy to know when the taylor series is solved at the point 0 comma 0 then it is called as maclaurin series okay so let us go into the step first we have to write the function my f is e power x y now since the point is not given i am going to take my point as a comma b is equal to 0 comma 0 so a equal to 0 b equal to 0 So in Taylor series formula, we are going to substitute like x minus a, y minus b. So now let us find this. Since a value is zero, when I substitute here, I'll be getting x. Similarly, y minus b is y minus zero. That is equal to y. Step two, we are going to make the table. Let us write the function f of x comma y is e power x y. Next, I have to find f x. So differentiation of e power x y. with respect to x partially it's going to be y into e power xy next fy so i'll take this e power xy if i want to differentiate e power xy partially with respect to y it is going to be x into e power xy now we have to find f double x f double x i can find from fx so my fx is y into e power xy now i have to differentiate this partially with respect to x since y is going to be my constant again e power xy differentiation with respect to x is y into e power xy so the answer is y square into e power xy next i have to find f double y so i have f y here i can find f double y from here so i have to differentiate this partially with respect to y so here x is going to be constant so i'll keep x and e power xy partially differentiation with respect to y is x into e power xy so my answer is e power xy into x square finally we want to find fxy i can find fxy from fx now differentiate this partially with respect to y because it is already differentiated partially with respect to x e power xy into y now it is very important the first term also consist of y and the second term also consist of y so we have to apply uv rule do you remember uv rule guys in your school days uv old dash is equal to u dash v plus u v dash or you can say vice versa uv dash plus u dash v so now i am going to differentiate this i am keeping y first constant and e power xy differentiation is with respect to y x into e power xy plus i'll keep e power xy common and i am going to differentiate this with respect to y differentiation of y is 1 so now my answer is e power xy plus xy e power xy so now the table is ready the point is 0 comma 0 we know that e power 0 is 1 keeping this in mind i am going to fill the problem but when i put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 all the terms which consist of the multiplication of x or y this is going to be 0 so now e power 0 is 1 then this is going to be 0 0 0 0 and here first term is 1 and second term is 0 so we have to fill the information here so step 2 gets over step 3 it's going to be the formula as i said write the general formula in a legible way okay done next we know the formula now either you take your pencil uh, or your color different color and in the formula itself just make an arrow whichever it is zero see here the next step simplification before you do simplification you just see the table here fx fy f double x f double y four terms are zero so now as i said just mark zero like this fx zero then fy zero double x zero double y zero so therefore my problem will consist of only f of a comma b and 1 by 2 factorial we know that 2 factorial is 2 1 factorial is 1 and only this term exists 2 into we know x minus a what is x minus a it is simply x we found from step 1 y minus b is simply y so x into y f of x comma y from the table we know it is 1 so 1 now 2 2 get cancel so my answer 
this is 1. So, 1 plus xy plus etc. This is my final solution. Okay. So, either you can substitute like this or you can directly put 0 here and you can finish the problem. Don't strike in your regular pen. Just highlight it and show it in a different color. It is helpful for your good presentation. That's it. So, now we found the Taylor series expansion for e power xy. It is very important that it is not finite. So, 1 plus xy plus dot dot dot. This three dots represent that it goes infinity. Okay, now the same problem can be asked with the different points. The only change in this problem is the points are 1 comma 1. Let us see. Now, as usual, fx, ab, a value is 1 b value is 1. Now, we are going to find x minus a. Since a is 1, we will be getting x minus 1. y minus b will be getting y minus 1. Now, as usual, I don't want to explain you. Just in the previous problem, we see this. So, I am going to write this. Now, we know e power 1. Don't try to find the values in calculator. Just keep e power 1 as e. So, what I am going to get here? x and y are 1. I am going to get e. So, y is also 1. 1 into e is e. So, we will be getting e everywhere. Here, e into 1 plus 1. So, we are going to get 2e. So, let us fill the data 1 by 1. Now, we are going for step 3. Write down the formula. Now, in this problem, see, none of the data is 0. See the table. None of them is 0, but something is common. Every data consists of E. So I can take E commonly out and I'll simplify the problem. Now, just substitute the thing. Since we know X minus A is X minus 1, Y minus B is Y minus 1. Now, substitute as it is first. Since none of them is 0, then I'll take this E commonly outside and for the second term. Now, this 1 and 1 will get cancelled. Don't simplify too much. So now, it will become e into x plus y minus 1 plus e by 2 will keep as it is. Rob, thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. Any doubts, you post in the comment box. We are here to help you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.